Thanks, Michael. Uh, thanks for the introduction. Um, yeah, I, I saw um, Joe your uh, question about where I'm where I'm at. Uh, just to maybe build on that a little bit, um, I've been with Milestone for five years in the in the MIA. Um, so I'm not new to Milestone. I was the distribution manager for Africa, which, as you can imagine, is quite a bit different to to the US. Um, I started the position on June 1st. Uh, remotely, of course, just like all of us are doing, except that um, obviously I'm uh, halfway across the world. So um, I'm, I'm getting to know everyone slowly. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're all still remote. So um, the only thing is a time difference. And I am going to be moving to the US as soon as we're allowed. Um, I'll be based out of the Portland office. And my role may basically is to look at um, the strategic level of things from a distribution point of view um, to make sure that we are all aligned for, uh, with, between milestone and distribution um, to yes like, have these kind of interactions and, and I understand that um, it's not business as usual for any of us um, so this is kind of the new normal for now hopefully I get to meet you guys face to face but at least for us to stay in touch um, these are the kind of sessions that I like to have and we'll have more of these um, going forward. So um, we've only got a limited amount of time for me to talk to you about Milestone. I'm highly passionate about Milestone. I've been working with Milestone for 13 years from uh, distribution. Um, I was with integration. Um, I've been with Milestone, for, like I mentioned, a number of years. And there's just so much to share. Milestone is a very unique product, which has a lot of potential. So I'm going to try, firstly, not to bore you. Um, secondly, uh, just to keep it as inform informative as possible in the, in the space of time that we have. But I want to encourage you guys to afterwards, and we'll, I'll touch on this again. Um, this is the, the, the idea of this is to A, be a recap for those who are new, not new to Milestone, B, to be an introduction to those that are, are new to Milestone, um, but ultimately to spark some interest and spark some conversations. And uh, Michael mentioned that he will share the list with me. I, I'm not going to mail bomb you. I'm just going to make contact afterwards and it's up to you. Um, but I want to encourage you to, to stay in touch. If you have anything that you want to talk about, I'm always uh, available to do so. Maybe not at, at your time, but uh, we'll set something up similar to this. So to get going, um, I'd, uh, I want to play you a little video. Um, which I think is, is relevant and um, explains a lot about what the company is about and what our passion is. Protecting people, property, and your business takes a good eye for pitfalls, patterns, and possibilities. Milestone Systems delivers video management solutions that make sense of what a camera can see. Across the globe, we secure buildings, companies, and cities, large and small, from parking lots to parliaments, from supermarkets to seaports. The Milestone community provides you with solutions, drawing attention to problem areas and opportunities to strengthen security, improve customer experiences, and reduce costs. With our open platform and technology partners, you get unsurpassed flexibility and freedom of choice in everything, from cameras to IoT sensors, to create a solution tailored to your plans and pain points. Your solution can go far beyond video and far beyond security in ways that make a difference for people, the environment, and your bottom line. Let's take a look at your world together. Okay, so I hope you guys could hear that well on your end, but um, that kind of gives you the idea of what Milestone is and what Milestone's about. And there's, there's two phrases that kind of stood out for me when I when I watched it recently is that um, is openness um, and future proof. So 
This has for me always been the biggest thing of Milestone. Not only is it a good video management platform, but it gives you the flexibility to start off at one point and grow for tomorrow. So I like to think of Milestone as, and uh, not don't let them quote me on this, but I like to think of Milestone as kind of the, the Microsoft layer of your surveillance system. So Milestone is that aggregation layer that makes everything else work together and makes sense. So like you saw in the video and as well as what you can see on the screen, there's effectively the possibilities with Milestone from an integration point of view is endless. It is only limited by your imagination and about, about the needs of, your, of the end user. We have by far got the biggest integration platform. And I mean, I'll, I'll go I'll just put the next slide up there without really talking to it too much. But um, it, is, it is growing phenomenally throughout the globe. Um, and Milestone is staying at the forefront of innovation um, in most areas in the world. So what makes Milestone different um, and what gives you the benefit besides the fact that we, are, that we do what we do very well um, is that it gives you choice. Today's technology is not tomorrow's, tomorrow's technology. And let's use this pandemic that we find ourselves in worldwide. Is Who would have predicted this eight, nine months ago? None of us. Um, so just as that changes and the world changes as rapidly as it does, you need to have the solution for your partners and your end users um, to be able to adapt when they need to adapt. So Milestone gives you that um, flexibility to choose whichever hardware vendor, whichever analytics company suits the individual needs of your customer and not what we're selling, right? So um, it is what fits the need of that specific site or specific customer. And having a look at how do we do this from a physical point of view, and I'm very briefly going to just put these up there. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Um, is these are the, the actual packages. And, and why I wanted to mention this is, is for a specific reason, is that there are a lot of people that do not realize that we have a, a free version that's available for anyone to download from our website for up to eight cameras, which is our essential plus. And then that obviously spans across all the way up to our corporate offering, which is the full um, bells and whistles, as you, if you want to call it that. And the reason why I like to show you the slide without getting too kind of PowerPoint boring is that whether you have Essential Plus or whether you have Expert, if you, for whatever reason, um, in your growth period or the customer's growth period, need to grow to corporate, this is all on one platform and simply a click of a button um, to upload a, a license file. So you don't change anything from an installation point of view. And it literally is just a, a, a change of features that gets available. So um, that's one thing with our recent releases, which has been really neat um, and just made life that much easier. So again, today, as I mentioned, I don't want to spend too much time on these kind of things. And I'll, you'll see why just now um, is that we have some, some um, documentation available that makes your life a little bit easier which I will share um, to the list of um, attendees um, after this. It'll be links to all of these and more uh, things that, that I'm going to share with you briefly. Um, and what I'm showing you now is our comparison chart, which is a very easy, quick reference. If you're not sure, should I be selling my customer Professional Plus? Does he need export or corporate? Um, what, what should I do? And it often comes down to functionality. We found, however, that Professional Plus, is, since its launch a couple of years ago, has been the most widely accepted because it's kind of the, I would say, a little bit more than above the middle uh, of the road uh, in, our, in our product offering. Um, from a functionality point of view, it is multi-site, it's unrestricted, and it will give you most of what most customers need. So um, that's just a kind of, as a side note. I will share that again with you guys. Uh, one thing I just wanted to mention, and I, if, you, if you have noticed, I'm going through this pretty fast, is I, there's a couple of things I want to mention, but I don't want to spend time on this boring stuff. I want to really show you something after this, um, is that some of you and most of you might be aware, of, have known or, or are aware that we are retiring express and professional, 
which is effectively being replaced by Express Plus and Professional Plus. Um, and I say replaced, but it's actually not so much of a replacement as a almost complete overall. Um, the functionality that's available in Express Plus and Professional Plus is far superior to what it ever was. It has answered a lot of questions that we've asked for for a very long time. And it doesn't make sense to sell uh, essential, uh, I mean, sorry, Express and Professional anymore for a new site. Um, the price difference between the two is very minimal, but the functionality is massive. Um, so for existing sites where a customer really truly insists on not in upgrading their software, fine. Um, they can keep pr their professional, for example, um, and not upgrade to professional plus. They can add to it. Um, we'll still support it for now, but there is going to come a time. And I would urge you guys to, to, to um, encourage your customers to upgrade. And I'll show you how to make that easy as well. Um, so there's just a little bit of a timeline on when these two products are going to become end of life and terminated. So you'll see on the screen there, we can still um, add on to it. Um, we, can, we can still maintain it, but there's not going to be any more uh, developments happening to this product whatsoever. And if you want to know, you know, um, what to do there, and I'll, I wanted to skip ahead to that, but, um, Actually, I'm going to leave it as this. Sorry, excuse me. Um, there's another question that comes up a lot, um, and that's our care program and what it's all about. Um, it sounds complicated, but it's not. And effectively, it's our, a complete range of service and support programs, um, depending on what the customer's needs are. You have milestone care, which is the, the bare minimum, which is available with all of our products. So we're not saying we're not going to support you. Um, we're just saying that there's more benefits if you move up along um, the different tiers. And just very briefly, if we look at Milestone Care Plus, which is, again, need to mention, it's optional. Our competition often uses this against us, saying, yeah, but you, you guys have got renewal, renewable costs every year or every two years, and it's compulsory. It's not compulsory. Um, it is completely optional, um, but the benefits of it are massive for, for the end user. Milestone Care Plus, um, not only gives you um, instant access to our product updates, which happen three times a year. And these updates are not necessarily uh, functionality, but also cybersecurity updates, um, et cetera, which, which needs to happen from time to time. Um, with Care Plus in place, you can upgrade by simply downloading the latest software as it comes available. But there are other benefits as well. And the one that's overlooked and, and not a lot of people know about is our um, customer dashboard. And this is beneficial for both the end user and the integrator um, in that all connected sites that they manage as a, from an integration point of view, you can have direct access to see what the status is of the, the system. If you have any cameras down, if you have a hard drive that's failed, um, whatever has happened, they can have instant access and react and respond to that before even the end user necessarily realizes that something is wrong. So um, as part of your service level agreement, you could that's, it's an invaluable tool to make sure that not only your customer is always on the latest version of our software, which is aligned to the latest versions of, of Microsoft. And um, so there's obvious security uh, um, benefits to that. But also, you can be proactive as a reseller and dispatch a technician on site to the point where your, where your end user says to you, oh, well, what are you doing here? And you kind of catch him on the door, way out of the door saying, we just came and fixed something that was wrong. Uh, not to worry, Mr. Customer, everything is back the way it was. Um, so that's fantastic. And there's two other benefits that I want to touch on. Um, the one is... If you prefer start for argument's sake on Express Plus because you have a small site and in time you grow, if you have Master and Care Plus in place and you need to, for example, upgrade all the way to corporate, you only pay the difference between uh, what you initially paid and corporate. You don't basically start all over again. So you get 100% trade-in of your initial investment um, and just pay the difference, which makes a big, big difference to the customer's bottom line. Um, and the other thing... Uh, which is our video push. 
um, which effectively turns any smart device into a camera, a surveillance camera. So if you have a security officer walk, walking the perimeter where there might not be any, any uh, camera uh, coverage, they can use their device to stream audio and video from their device back to the control room. It gets recorded as a camera does, um, and that is only available if they have a valid Care Plus in place. Care Plus is available upfront with purchase uh, for between one and five years, and then renewable, obviously, depending which, uh, either yearly or two yearly, whichever package you've got. So then we have two others, and I'm going to put them both on the screen together. We have Care Premium and Care Elite. So these are additional options that are available over and above Care Plus. Um, for sites that have a little bit more of a um, dedicated uh, need, for example, you have um, a critical infrastructure that requires 24 seven um, access to, to support, um, then you would look at start looking at Care Premium. Um, you might want a little bit more than that and look at Care Elite, uh, which gives you a dedicated technical uh, uh, contact um, at Milestone. And again, obviously it still gives you 24 seven um, support, but it also gives you the customer exact uh, service level agreements from support um, turnaround times, etc. These are quoted on a per, uh, ad hoc basis. It's not available really on our um, on our, our, our price list because there are setup fees. There's a lot of things. So if your customer is interested in this, and I'm mentioning this so that you're aware it's out there, then uh, reach out to us, and um, we can we uh, we can work on that for you. Uh, just to ask Joe's, uh, answer Joe's question while we're on the slide, um, asking uh, if we can use, uh, if we've got Care Plus, yes, you can use your smartphone while walking uh, in a perimeter, for example. Um, so connectivity is your only limitation. Uh, so whether it be 4G or if you are connected to uh, the wireless network of the facility, then that obviously makes a lot more sense. Uh, but most certainly, yes. Um, there's other uh, ideas that you could do with video push, and that's, even not from a, a surveillance point of view. And again, um, in the title of this webinar about how do we go beyond security, I'm gonna show you a couple of things just a little bit later, but you could use it from a maintenance point of view. If maintenance is down in a, in a, in a plant and he sees something that needs to, or anybody's in, 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 in the plant and they see something, they can record it on their smartphone or their tablet or whatever they have and push that back to um, the control room for, investigation by the maintenance team. Uh, first responders, for example, um, that's also maybe a, a, an option. So there's a, put your minds to it. There's, there's some things that you, that you can uh, use that for. And again, just before I move on, um, the control room can also push, and I didn't mention this, they can also push an incident to the field. So if something happens, they can push video to um, the first responders or the security um, personnel um, to see what they're walking into or um, then gain access remotely um, to the site and to those cameras from their mobile device. Okay. So touching in on, on, on these last two slides where I spoke about the retiring of the old products and I spoke about the, um, the Care Plus and, and the different options, we have some new tools available um, that will help you to compare the different options, firstly, uh, of why should I do Professional Plus instead of Express Plus, but not only that, is to help you to understand the value of what Care Plus and the rest of the care, but let's just use Care Plus as an example, uh, what that gives you. And to better il illustrate that, I wanna show you the following thing, um, which uh, again, after this, please reach out, we can talk about this more, but I just wanted to make you aware of this. Isn't that more interesting than me just talking? 
right? I thought maybe it would be. So what it does is, is, is um, this tool will also give you not only online, if you want to use it in a live uh, sales environment, but it also gives you the option to download PDF um, uh, reports after the fact, um, which, which is great to add to proposal or just to use to convince your customers that they should take care plus now from a revenue point of view i mean not only are all these benefits there for the end users we're all in sales right so i'm not going to say no to having a higher sale than what i would have before so your customer wins and you win because you increase um the, the quota amount on on the sale so um it's it's literally a win-win for everybody involved okay all right two more things i want to touch on before i move on to something a little bit more exciting hopefully uh, we're excited to recently have launched our e-learning um, in the form of a youtube site so we always had our online e-learning uh, which is a pretty interactive um, site but a lot of our partners have asked us you know i, I don't want to necessarily have to go through a course all i want to do is I want to be able to see uh, what does Milestone have to offer, or as a solutions engineer, like how do I design this kind of system? What do I need to look at? Or as a sales guy, how, how do I communicate the value of Milestone? So with that, we have launched our um, YouTube site, as I mentioned, and the, the picture that you see on your screen is highlighting the playlists, which I found really, really cool um, to make your life easier. So it's kind of like a, a sales track. Um, the one on the screen there you're saying you can see is called getting started with milestone or with Xprotect. So um, you know from from a from a what is kind of IP is a fundamentals you see there or creating and applying rules etc cetera, etc cetera. and and there's a whole bunch. So again as I mentioned I will distribute the links to all of you. Um, I encourage you to go and have a look. So we have or shall I say we had um, official kind of formalized training before this whole COVID uh, thing happened. But in the last six months, we've encouraged um, everyone to use not only this new, which is new, but to use our online e-learning uh, e portal. Um, it is free, so it is um, available to you. There's a lot of content on there. Um, so I will, again, that'll be on, on the links. Have a look. Um, you can even do certifications uh, online. So. Um, that's the way we're doing things now. Sadly, um, I was telling Michael earlier, it's like I miss seeing people face to face, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, we got to just carry on with what the hand we've been dealt as, as the saying goes. So again, look, look out for that, check it out. Um, then uh, the last thing I want to mention, just uh, second to last, shall I say, is for those, again, this will be in the links, our content portal, if you're ever looking for anything, from photos to videos to uh, customer um, stories to, well, uh, pretty much anything from a marketing point of view. It's all on our content portal. Um, it's available to you as our partner. So again, that'll be in the link. So I uh, encourage you to look through that. There's a lot of great stuff on there, which will help you um, in uh, your presentations to customers. And then our marketplace. So. We've spoken about some things which I want to show you briefly after, after this slide. Um, is the, how Milestone integrates to third-party applications. So whether it be access control, analytics, um, perimeter, uh, def, um, uh, perimeter defense like uh, electric fencing, etc. How do I know to what level it's integrated? How do I know where to find stuff? And that's the answer to that is our marketplace. Um, we had launched this about, if I remember, about a year and a half ago, and it has grown as time has gone, um, and it's continuously grown. So we're continuously putting um, access to that site, uh, through that site, to our third-party um, partners, and making it as easy as possible uh, for you to find documentation, um, to find videos, to find installation guides, to third-party um, applications. Um, so have a look at that as well. Again, that'll be in the um, in the link. Um, all right. So the, what I've been alluding to is I don't know about you, but I kind of 
find that I've had way too many webinars and I've had way too many um, presentations for my liking in the last six months. So before I move on to that, um, what I want, thought I'd show you guys, and I hope that the delay is not, uh, it is not too delayed, is instead of talking more about Milestone and what Milestone can do, I wanted to show you in the little bit of time that we have, um, a real life um, installation by logging into our office in uh, Portland um, and showing you some of the technology working. So um, here you'll see three little uh, little screens there. And just before we go into that, this is Expertech Mobile, which is free for any user. Um, the video push, by the way, uh, which you would effectively turn your camera into a surveillance camera on your on your mobile device. Um, that is not free. That's one camera license, but that's semantics. Um, but the actual application is free. Then we have our web client, which is not only interesting from a point of view where it is uh, on the go um, and you do not need to install anything, uh, but from an Apple point of view, um, being milestone being a milestone at a Microsoft platform. Um, this gives you the uh, capability uh, from an uh, Apple point of view to also have access to remotely to the recorded footage, live footage, uh, events, analytics, etc. And then, of course, our smart client. So what I'm going to show you is our smart client. Um, and um, again, so I'm accessing our system remotely from Africa in Portland and streaming it back to you in the US, which, which is quite interesting. So let's see how technology and speed work. So you should be seeing that. So if anyone in the chat can just give me a thumbs up that you can see those four cameras with the blue chairs. But see you should them. be able to see them. Great. All right. So as you can see, um, <laughs> this is where I will be working one day. Um, but nobody else is there either. Um, and I believe the sun is up because I can see it. Um, but um, this is our offices in Portland. And what we try to do here, and um, obviously it makes a lot more sense when we actually have people there because we want to show you how to live track people and, and, and what Milestone does with everything. But um, we can still get a good idea in the, in the little bit of time that we have here. Um, and again, um, as I mentioned, I have no problem with setting up some individual sessions on this or anything else that you, that you come across or questions that you have afterwards, no problem. Um, so... This is the, the overlay uh, overview of what our smart client looks like. And it is very difficult to show you everything um, that Milestone can do, but we've taken some of the partners that we have um, and to show you some of the technology that's available, um, as well as from a Milestone point of view, how easy it is to use our software. So it is not a, a, a streaming fault. If you look at the uh, bottom two pictures, um, that it's, it seems to be blurry. That's because we have um, applied our, our privacy mask. So um, it blurs the image. Um, and as... Uh, uh, um, oh, as a manager, I have the ability to... Um, uh, I lost connection there. So while I, while I reconnect, um, I have the ability to, to take that privacy mask um, and remove it for... Uh, reasons of investigations, etc. Um, but anybody else will only see um, the view that you that you saw there with the privacy mask um, applied. So while this thing loads again, again now we're going uh, cross continents a couple of times. Um, it'll be a good indication uh, of how well internet is shared between continents. Um, you you would have seen and just in the sake of of time while it's loading. Um, you would see that uh, on the left-hand side, we had a couple of preset views. Um, that's another great thing that Milestone gives you the flexibility to do is to set up any view um, that you require for your, your customer's unique situation. Also, you can set the rights of who can see what, uh, who can do what. So does Chris only get the rights because he's been dodgy in the past to see live footage? Uh, can he export footage? Can he, um, can he change a view? Um, you can do it from a user point of view. You can do it from a per camera point of view. You can do it from a per group point of view. Whatever your situation is and whatever your needs are, um, that's, uh, that's what will be available to you. 
So it really does give you that flexibility. And I'll, I'll show you one or two things. It looks like we're loading here again um, of, of how, uh, how easy it is to, to maneuver around. So just from a general overlay point of view, you'll see at the top there, uh, we have playback search, a couple of different tabs. Um, a lot of our integrations that are done by some of our great partners, um, they will write it to the point where they have their own tab um, at the top where that you can that you can reference. So we can, on a live view basis, I wanted to just show you again, just to re reiterate, we don't have a lot of motion at the at the office at the moment, so it makes it a bit difficult to give a demo. But if I was for for argument's sake sitting watching the system and I see something in this camera on the on the top left there that looks suspicious, I have the ability to put that camera on its own into playback. So you're going to have to take my word for it and look at the little counter if you can see it, <laughs> that it is going backwards. But the rest of the, the view stays in live and I can just look and, and perhaps I realize, yeah, oh, it was nothing, it's not an issue. Or I realize, yeah, that is a problem, I need to address it. And I can click by a click of a button, go to the full playback where I have all the functionality that I need. And it looks by the red here that we did have actually some motion in this view, um, which could have been a light change uh, or whatever it was. Okay. So that was just something I wanted to, to touch on. But more to the technology itself, um, if we've set up and we've got some great colleagues that have gone into the office to help us set up some of the tech that we do have um, when it comes to specifically to COVID. And, and I think this speaks to uh, the way that we can, uh, where we can all adapt uh, to our situations and look at how we could use certain technologies um, to, to, for different reasons. So none of this technology was actually designed for this reason, but we can use it for that. So you'll see on the screen there, we've got some different examples, one being uh, um, behavioral analytics from uh, our partners at BriefCam, um, showing proximity of, of people with, uh, around each other. Um, you've got on the bottom right there, we've got thermal. So one of my great colleagues there showing us, uh, trying to hide his forehead from the heat and seeing if it still picks it up. Um, I think that was, I can't remember, uh, that's a Dawa camera, as you can see there. Um, and it picks up the, the heat signatures. Um, but I mean, there's so many different things that we can do. Um, so this is just like a kind of small example of what it is we can do. Um, if you look at the next example, which is, is kind of seemingly basic, but um, this is just the video loop that runs uh, for obvious reasons, uh, picking up number plates on the highway. Uh, we have a pretty high accuracy rate with this as well, um, above 95% um, as far as the last figures that I heard. Um, and what's great about this is if I, if I see a, a plate that comes up that is of a particular interest to me, I'm not quite sure about the delay here, if this is going to work from a demo point of view. Um, but I can do a quick playback when I find the vehicle. See, I've also got a delay. We can use the scrubbing to find it as well. Okay. Um, and then I can go again, like I showed you guys before, um, I can go into full review. Um, it can show me every time that vehicle comes up, I can do partial search. Um, we can have uh, specific lists for authorized and not authorized. And this is a milestone uh, um, offering. This is not a, a third party. And we have many, many third parties out there um, that is available. So that's just another example. I wanted to show you one other thing. We've, you can see video push here. We unfortunately can't demo that with no one being at the office. Um, this is another very uh, unused um, offering with Milestone and called Transact. And this is not only for point of sale integrations, as you see on the screen here. Um, it's for any transactional data. So whether it be a wave bridge um, or anything that's bringing up uh, data from, from that system, we can interact with. Uh, we can uh, timestamp it with a video like you see here. Um, and we can then also search for text. So if I want to, to search for a bread uh, as an example within a certain period of time, um, I can do that in, in our search functionality. So um, that's uh, something that, that not a lot of people use um, that uh, I believe is underutilized. So um, keep that in mind. And again, what I wanted to show you here when the whole idea with this demo is um, not specifically everything, but 
maybe it will spark some ideas or, or at least some interest. So if you look at our parking lot at the office there, we've got some analytics running on the Hanwha cameras. Um, and again, I mentioned these names on purpose because if you look at, at this view that we've got here, we've got a Hanwha, uh, we have an Axis, uh, we have a uh, Bosch camera, um, and two Bosch cameras there, all running seamlessly on the same system. So what's good today is not always good tomorrow, right? So Axis might be a good camera or Hanwha is a great camera, but uh, someone else brings out something that's specific to thermal or has a fantastic onboard analytics um, that's free with the camera. I might want that and we can chop and change as we go along. So you'll see in, the, in here, this uh, top left camera uh, view was set up to identify vehicles. You'll notice a bit of the time lag there between that vehicle that came through It picked it up. Um, but obviously, like I mentioned, uh, going from Africa to uh, from the US to Africa to the US again, there's a little bit of a delay. So understandable. Um, but you'll see the metadata and what's fantastic. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you this in this demo. But with our latest release, which is due uh, in, a, in coming weeks, we can search on the metadata from third parties. So um, exactly what you're seeing here, those binding boxes on the cameras, we'll be able to search on that. And, and regardless of what it is, um, in our search criteria, we can put that in. So show me vehicles that came through. Show me people that came through. Um, and again, this is not going to be available for, for all integrations yet. Uh, it depends on the partner. So I want, the ones we're showing you here in this view are some of the partners who are uh, most proactive with us uh, and always uh, integrating, making sure that the analytics works before it's launched. So we're expecting, of course, that it'll be with these kind of partners first, and then you know it'll grow as, as the demand gets there. But that's it's a fantastic re uh, um, functionality that's coming in the next release, which will make finding footage um, and reacting um, so much faster. So just from a, if I double click uh, on a camera, you see what I meant earlier, the, the box is going a bit faster than the camera, uh, than the car. Um, I can then put that into full view, or I can actually put the entire thing into full view, if I so wished, um, for, for reasons of seeing better what's going on. I can hide these panels. I mean, these are not amazing features. I'm just showing you guys. Um, the other thing that I wanted to touch on briefly um, is our map functionality, which is also very useful from a surveillance point of view. So I could have what we've set up in, the, in this map here as a, at the top of the office. Uh, we set up an alert um, and it's multi-layer, right? So when I click on that, um, it shows me that runs a bit zoomed in, but zoom that out. It shows me that it's as, as this kind of example that the alert that's coming from is the camera on the perimeter of building one for argument's sake. If I hover over that, so this might be a bit delayed for you, that will give me a preview image of that camera that I can have a quick overview to see what the issue is. The operator might say, ah, oh, it's just a cat that ran past, nothing to worry about. Or I couldn't really see what that was, so let me drill down further and um, have a look what actually, what alarms are, are being popped in. It seems there's quite a lot in, in this office. Um, but I can then, for example, have a, a panic button or it could be an access control alarm, it could be video. Um, it could be pretty much anything that you can give me an input from um, that I can alarm and then automate something to happen afterwards, right? So if I click on this alarm, shouldn't be too long. Uh, now it's coming up on my other screen, so you can't see it. That doesn't help. Um, it brought up a little icon that said panic alarm. Um, let me bring this on the screen. Um, which is exactly what that was, as I mentioned. Um, and then you can put certain criteria in there is assess situation, dispatch security, call 911 with a threat. This is a little bit slow again, a little bit of delay, um, but it'll give us the video. There it is. Um, you get the video up there um, of who it was. You can play it back. You can print this out. You can export it. There's a lot you can do. So um, again, just trying to show this, the seamlessness of it. There was one other thing that I wanted to um, show you guys before I went to questions. And it's a really, really powerful feature that we have, but I've realized in a, in a pre-run um, the other day when I was trying to do this, is that the delay is unfortunately too much to show this. But um, 
that is our, and, and the thing is that I wanted to show you is called our smart search. It's available again for free. Um, we can go to a specific camera um, and select whichever camera it is. Let's just wait for that to load. Okay, and we could se select an area that we want to, and again, I'm, I'm not going to be able to show you this, unfortunately, today. Um, I'll figure out a way of having a pre-recording that, that would work for this for our, for our next time. But for example, if we said uh, we're looking at the footage and someone put this, what is that? Let's, let's have a look at what that is. Uh, there's a remote, there's some, a mag looks like a, uh, some playing cards. And we want to figure out who it is that put that there and that when it arrived. Um, we can highlight just that section there and say for the next um, however many days, tell me when there was motion just in this area here and forget about everything else. This makes it super fast to find situations. And when you do, we can then click on that and expand um, the search criteria um, to, um, to uh, have full video footage like we said, uh, showed you earlier. Um, and find, find the incident a little bit faster. Uh, the system monitor uh, was, let me just check if that, see if that's working. Yeah, it's gonna be very slow. All right, I was taking a chance. I wanted to show you, oh, there we go. Okay, so say we example, we have several different sites connected. We can get an overview of whether, like you see on the screen there, whether all the cameras are working, if all the servers are connected, um, what just from a quick overview, so we can assess if there's anything we need to look at. I know that I've touched on a lot of stuff and I've jumped around quite a bit, um, but normally we would spend like a complete hour on just, um, just demoing Milestone itself. Um, and I hope that this has been uh, interesting to a point where maybe it sparked some interest, some ideas, um, and to show you how uh, Milestone works from a um, uh, from an open platform point of view, whereby we can have different camera manufacturers, we can have different access control, different analytics, all working together to um, bring the solution that your customer needs, and not only that, but to make it easy to navigate and easy for these um, different technologies to talk to each other, which ultimately for me, from a personal point of view, is one of the reasons that I was always interested in Milestone, is we can have one single pane of glass um, where I can not necessarily, depending on the integration, change things from this point, but I don't really want to. Here's where I want to see what's going on, quickly assess, is it a situation that needs to be addressed, highlight it, send it to the right people. Um, so. Um, yeah, hopefully this shows you a little bit about what we do um, and I would welcome some questions and again, um, there's, I'm going to close with something else um, just now, but if, if there are any questions, please put them in the chat. I see uh, one there. So Essential Plus, where we find the license file, good question. So you log on to Milestone's website, milestonesys.com, um, and you will uh, register uh, uh, you will find the link, um, and I'm just going to make 100% sure before I tell you what it is, and I'll lie to you, which I don't want to do. So um, if you look at uh, Get Started uh, on our actual homepage, you click on Get Started Now, and it will give you all the different different options that are available. So um, Essential Plus, it will give you a link. Uh, I'm just going down. Yep, there it is. It's the first one that's got a yellow thing saying it's free. It gives you a link. Um, you can click on it and you will have to register it. There's no cost involved, but we just want to know who you are um, so that, uh, that, that we know who the license belongs to. Um, and again, so you can then upgrade from there as your needs go over. That's available for up to eight cameras if you didn't see it on that uh, um, comparison that we had earlier. Okay. All right, I wanna just go back to finish off with something and then I'll keep it open um, for questions until the top of the hour. But um, just quickly as I go there, yes, uh, I'll give you guys copies and links um, of everything that I'm 
um, spoke about today, links to the different parts of our page, as well as the actual documents I will send to you as well. All right, so in closing from my side, I thought I'd share something a little, a little bit maybe uh, that you're not used to. Some of you might have seen this already, but um, I think a lot of us have seen customer stories and, and it's always this uh, more often than not. It's a customer story about a camera partner and milestone and this huge port or this huge uh, airport and all these major integrations. But sometimes it's not about that. Sometimes you just need a, um, uh, a reliable uh, partner like Milestone um, to help you with, with the different need. And I, and I wanted to close with, with this last thing um, and then leave it, like I say, open to questions. Uh, but I hope you enjoy. Every once in a while, around the lake, and there's one over by the library, you'll see these squirrel bridges. And the squirrel bridges are there. They're really symbolic or, or, or memorials or something like that. But uh, squirrels actually use it. Uh, we have a camera on the side of that uh, that we watch live view. You wouldn't think, like, well, they're just running along the ground. Like, no, they actually, actually use it. It's funny. But uh, there's, I think, seven or eight of them in town now, uh, mostly around around the lake, and all of them are, are beautiful and ornately done, and it's just kind of a fun thing about my town. Okay, so that's uh, what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, 